The Humber Armored Car is a light, four-wheeled armored vehicle produced by the United Kingdom starting in 1940. It was one of the largest armored vehicles produced by the UK during World War II and saw service in the early stages of the North African campaign. It was typically used for long-range raids or patrols and gained recognition from the military for its performance in harsh environments, demonstrating the reliability of this armored car. The Humber Armored Car had multiple versions, with the earliest MK.1 being produced in limited quantities of only about 300 vehicles. The vehicle's chassis had a rectangular frame, with the front compartment serving as the driver's cab, the middle section as the fighting compartment, and the rear as the engine compartment. It was powered by a 90-horsepower, six-cylinder gasoline engine, with power transmitted to the front and rear differentials through a gearbox, and the wheels using leaf spring suspension. The front armor of the armored car was approximately 15 millimeters thick, with the side armor being 10 millimeters, providing basic protection. The vehicle's best means of survival was its off-road speed. Although its on-road speed was relatively slow, at only about 80 kilometers per hour, the MK.1's armament was the weakest in the series, with a turret housing a 15mm BASA machine gun and a 7.92mm BASA machine gun. The handling of the 15mm heavy machine gun was poor in automatic fire mode. In subsequent versions, the armored car's cooling system was optimized, and its weapons and communication methods were upgraded. For example, the MK-4 had a larger three-person turret with an additional radio operator and a 37mm gun replacing the 15mm heavy machine gun, providing increased firepower. The Humber MK.1 was a self-propelled anti-aircraft vehicle in the series designed to provide mobile air defense firepower for armored units. Each regiment was expected to be equipped with an anti-aircraft unit which included four Humber MK.1 self-propelled anti-aircraft vehicles. The anti-aircraft vehicle was designed based on the early Humber MK.1 and entered service in 1942. There were no significant changes in the vehicle layout, armor protection, etc. The driver was still positioned forward and center, with a prominent armored compartment protecting the head and a small observation window at the front. The turret section of the vehicle was modified, reconfiguring it for dedicated anti-aircraft weapons. This turret was designed by Stothard and M. Pitt, a company that existed from 1855 to 1989, specializing in heavy equipment such as cranes, with an open top structure and operated by two personnel. Its armament consisted of four 7.92mm BESA machine guns mounted side-by-side -side for elevation movement with a large firing elevation angle using a set of mechanical sights. The machine guns were fed by a 2-on-25-round metal ammunition belt, providing good sustained firepower with a maximum firing rate between 750 and 850 rounds per minute. The four machine guns could provide sufficient firepower density, although these machine guns were not specialized anti-aircraft weapons, with ammunition destructive power and effective range unable to compare with small-caliber specialized anti-aircraft weapons, like the Oerlikon 20mm anti-aircraft gun. It should be noted that aircraft technology made significant advances during World War II, and this kind of anti-aircraft firepower might have had some survival value before the war, but not during. In fact, when the Humber MK.1 anti-aircraft vehicle entered the battlefield, the Allies' air pressure was not as heavy. Although the North African theater of operations was vast, the overall number of enemy aircraft deployed was relatively small. The Allies' air power, on the other hand, continued to grow. When the theater shifted to Europe, the power imbalance became even more pronounced. Therefore, the Humber MK.1 self-propelled anti-aircraft vehicle had lost its value. It was deployed in the Normandy campaign alongside other Humber armored cars, presumably to defend against German aircraft counterattacks. After this campaign, it was retired, and the anti-aircraft units equipped with it were disbanded. There were reports that the UK had built a version with two 15mm BASA machine guns, but this has not been confirmed.